Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching CSS Positioning Lesson 12 and in this video I want to talk about clipping content and also what we're going to be doing next. Wow. Alright then guys, so I'm exactly where I left off in the last lesson but I'm looking at this web page and although it's freaking awesome <laughs> I've decided that what I want to do is clip these boxes right here so that they're all ending at the same position. I still want this stair effect at the top, but I just want them to all end along this kind of a line here. So essentially I need to clip a little bit off the bottom of this and a little bit off the bottom of this one right here. So how do we do that? Well, dead simple technique. We use the overflow property and we give the parent elements a maximum height. Okay, so let's do that right now. We know that all of these service blocks right here are within this services class. Okay, so let's grab that services class. In fact, we should already have a rule for it down here somewhere. Let's find that. Um, services after, right, okay, no we don't. So let's put that right in here, services. And what I'm gonna do is give that a maximum height. And the max height is gonna be like 150 pixels for now. So now you can see that right there, yeah? This blue box is the services wrapper, this div right here. However, even though we've given that a maximum height, these boxes still overflow. So what we need to do is clip anything that overflows this maximum height. And the way we do that is very simple, guys. We just give this wrapper, this services div, an overflow property. And what we're saying here is we can control this stuff right here. So anything that overflows, we can either set to auto, which pretty much just puts a scroll bar on it. Now I think that is kind of a bit ugly in this circumstance. Now we can do that, for example, if this was just a big column of text and we wanted it to occupy this amount of space and the user can just scroll, we could do that. But for this instance, I don't want to do that. What else can we do? Uh, we can set it to hidden. Now that is what I want to do. All right. So now everything that overflows that maximum one, uh, height of 150 is hidden, so they're all clipped at the bottom right here. So they still have that stair effect at the top, but nice and straight at the bottom, awesome. Okay, now if I wanted to, I could show these. I could say, oops, visible. I mean, that's what it is by default, so I don't really need to explicitly say visible unless I'm overriding um, a previous rule. And the only other option we can have is scroll. We can have inherit as well, which just inherits the kind of a parent elements value for this property, or we can use scroll, and that's gonna add the left and the right scroll bars as well as the top and bottom, okay? Even though we don't need these left and right, it thinks, okay, well, I'll add them anyway. That makes perfect sense, <laughs> but there we go. So I'm gonna set this to hidden, and that's gonna clip off all the bottom bits of those services, all right? So that, my friends, is how we clip content in CSS. We just use a max height property and set the overflow portion to hidden. All right. All right then, guys. So that is the end of this relatively short uh, playlist, this CSS positioning playlist. And by now, we should be in a good position to really start making some websites. But there's one thing we've really not looked at at all on this channel yet, and that is responsive design. So what do I mean by that? Well... If I take this and I make it smaller, you can see the website has changed. It still looks all right. And it's just responded to the size of the browser. Okay? So that is what responsive design is all about. So whether I view this website on a phone, tablet, or a desktop computer, it's still going to look all right. So that's what we're going to be doing in the future, the very near future. I'm going to do a playlist on responsive design. So it's going to take everything we've learned in CSS from the CSS beginners playlist and this one we've just done. And we're going to combine those to create a responsive website. All right. So if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe to get all those updates, share and like, and I'll see you in the very next tutorial playlist.